So I ended up just sleeping down here at Target because it wasn't until midnight that I actually got my paperwork. So beautiful morning at least. No neighbor that side, but I still got my neighbor on this side. And there's this load from uh, JB Hunt that um, is going right back home. So if they take it, I'll go ahead there and pick it up. If not, we'll just head home. We'll see what they want to do. Our green APU, greenapu.com, did an amazing job last night. Kept us nice and warm. It is cold out there. I don't know exactly how cold it is, but the moon sure is pretty. Okay, let's get on these load boards because that JB Hunt load might come through, but who knows? Uh, let's turn this off. Okay. Not a bad load. Uh, it's listed for $500. I have to run over to Augusta to get it, which isn't as close to my house from here. Um, and they, bit, they responded last night and counter offered a couple times and they counter offered at 700 when they counter offered like an even number you know it's an actual person not a robot but it's like some weird number with a bunch of different uh odd or even endings it's most likely just a computer generated so they came at 700 and i bid again for my 1050 which is the lowest i'll go on it and uh they just stopped bidding for the night so <laughs> then this morning like clockwork 801 they come back at 700 re-responded and then um I get a phone call. So, brokers don't start coming to the office till typically eight o'clock. Uh, the East Coast ones, uh, or the Central Standard Time ones, could be an hour after that. And then the Pacific time, like the uh, convoy out there on one, they're in Washington State and then Ubers in California. Some people they have in Chicago. They're pretty much all the time, but they also don't take bids. Convoy does, but convoy is more of a eight, eight to five also. So, but that's Washington time. So. That would be, shoot, 11 a.m. my time. All right, well, let's get connected to this trailer. It's a beautiful morning. It is 40 degrees, and we're going to air up, go to the truck stop. And another thing, they follow you on GPS. So once you start moving your truck and you get out of where you're at, they, they don't panic, but they start being more serious about your offer because they can track you. They can see where you're at. <laughs> so if you know that, then you can, uh... my trailer was real low. Get out of there. If you know that, then they can, um, what's it called? They'll get more serious about their bid, sorry. And the sun is coming out, look at that on that trailer. Or on that hood. I'm all over the place this morning. It's still early, let me get some coffee. You've gotta love how close they put your trailer. <laughs> so you gotta put your landing gear, you can barely fit between these things. My goodness, let's get her done. And we're out of here. Just got a notification saying that I lost the bid from uh, Convoy, which probably means either they just booked it or they just bounced it, whatever. But we're at Target. They took our paperwork, we're good to go. We submitted it to Uber. Should be a good six hours of detention on there. 40 bucks an hour, not bad. Uber's really good about paying attention. They'll just email you a new Raycon and pay it, but. Um, uh, JV Hunt hasn't come back off, off, off at 700 on that first load, but then another load just popped up going to Pendleton. And I'd rather have this one because it delivers tomorrow morning. The other one was a straight through to CNC, CNS Wholesale, which can be a, about as good as Target is right here. So <laughs> hopefully I get this other one. And they're already, uh, it's less miles to, to Deadhead, and it's about the same exact miles to get there. Pendleton, South Carolina, which is halfway to the lake from our house. And it's booking now at a thousand, so it's already, twice as much as the other load, so this is what they counter offered at, and we'll see if we get it for 11, which is what I would take it for. Got the email saying, unfortunately, it's not yours, so maybe somebody else got it. We're gonna get some coffee and see what the day holds. I love the festive cups. Okay, let's get our truck going, but once you start moving your truck, uh, if they do have a load, they will call you. So. I think that's new over there. That loves with the Arby's exit 87. I uh, don't remember that being there. Looks new. Yeah. Over to the left, has a tire, big old tire center, service center, cool. Uh, there's an Uber load that popped up right before I left too. It was 
Uh, going straight through, uh, it was a heavy one. It was uh, cardboard bundles, which I'm not a fan of, but would have got me home. But by the time I refreshed the app, somebody booked it. So what I want to teach you guys is the brokers run out of time. So right before Christmas, any loads they have to move, they have to get them done because they're going to. A lot of brokers are taking off till the first, or second, or third of the year. So these are last loads that they need to get moved where companies want to get go uh, going somewhere for production or for stock, you know, inventory. So stick to your guns even more. Know your worth. Try to get towards your house. Um, and then shut it down for the, for the Christmas holiday. I'm going to head towards Columbia, which I'm doing right now, and then I'm going to head north towards my house. And it, if they're watching me on GPS, they're still saying it, they're staying at $749 on that straight through load. Um, the other one would have been nice dropping the next day, but I think someone else got it. Um, as you heard in the phone call, he, he thought that he was going to lock me into it, I think, for 11 But um, I think someone else booked it before then. Either way, it's beautiful out here. We're between the towers, trees on this Highway 20 heading westbound, and it's 46 degrees now. And we're going to head north a little. If they don't come up on that 749, we'll take it for 1050. Then we will just go home, and that's that's Christmas break for us. Try and get maybe one more load after Christmas. Take like a Florida load with the boys. Uh, that'd be a fun little Christmas break load, and or somewhere else. Who knows where we'll go? But I would like to do that. It's the cool thing about being an owner operator or a trucker, you can kind of use it as vacation sometimes. So God bless all you guys. Hope you have a great Christmas too. Let's see if we get a load, and let's get home to these babies. I got some Elfin to do also. Oh yeah. Stopping at the old TA before uh, I head up 26, about five miles. Uh, easy off and on if you're heading uh, westbound. And they have a Taco Bell and McDonald's. What else can you ask for, right? Some junk food, some fast food. But yeah, I'm gonna stop here and go through the low boards one more time. Place an offer on that JB Hunt one more time. And if they come back at 750, then we are done. But I can take that back home. It's dropping right by my house. Sure, it's not an ideal uh, receiver. They're a little bit slow, but hey, can't complain. Some extra Christmas money. Yeah, let's see. We can go. No, no, no. I'm not gonna block the island. I can just come around and go back to those spots over there. Doo -doo. Get some tires done. Get some FedEx delivered. And a truck wash. I did not know there was a truck wash here. Uh, can I make it through here? Got a big old pothole right there. Yeah, it looks like the truck wash people decided to park their cars right where the trucks need to go. We're going to miss that nice Caprice. Or Grand Marquis, sorry. And my trailer went in that nice pothole, but nice and slowly. All right, we made it past the Amazon trailer. That's a nice truck wash. Same thing as uh, Streak and Bacon, two bays. I did not know that. Another truck wash to add to the repertoire. Okay, let's look at these loads. Yeah, that's a pretty old Pete. He's got the cool headlights in the fenders also. These guys trick out these, uh, I don't know what you call those trailers, guys. I know they haul like grain and all kinds of stuff, but what do you call those trailers? That's a heck of a nice peak. No loads yet. As you might have guessed it, nothing happening for loads. So there was a couple of good loads. Like there's a Anderson, South Carolina going to PA for 3600 on Uber Freight of all things. Crazy. But we're going to shut it down. It is 339 for fuel at Pilot right here on exit 52. And when we just had passed exit 54 back there, it was... 297 so back into twos again that's awesome for a good old quick trip exit 54 on 26 so if you're fueling anywhere around south carolina coming up from charleston columbia or anywhere out there on the coast go to that qt there's also a qt off exit 5 down there uh heading into the georgia line on 95 we're going home i think we're going to stop by uh merchandise vendor that's local to us uh, just kind of do like a. Uh, 20 to 40 unit runs of like zip down hoodies, more hats, beanies, that kind of stuff. Uh, he's got an embroidery and a screen print and all that kind of stuff right there, right there in the city over from us. And T-Dub's dad's actually the one that uh, put me onto him. So we're gonna go meet with him. I called him, talked to him on the phone. I just don't have much time. So meet with him and uh, see what he's got going on. See if he can handle that. See if he wants to do that. See if he has wholesale on, on pricing for shirts and hats and hoodies and all that beanies and stuff so we can still have some merchandise going 
and in the future maybe do another giveaway so speaking of that we're gonna uh, get home and a lot of you guys have been telling me that the instrument cluster can be a big problem with these Chevy so I've been researching it and it looks like it was an older thing like an 02 to 05 but maybe it's still happening in 08 with the trailblazer we have at home the, the 6.0 trailblazer so I might put that thing up on jack since I'm gonna have about a week and a half of depending on if we go to Florida with the load uh, put that on jacks get that exhaust off of it and uh, also disconnect the cluster and leave the battery connected and also do a parasitic uh, draw test. A lot of you guys have been telling me about that too and thank you so much for that help just to figure out where it's coming from. I guess it, it could be the cluster, it could be a bunch of other things. Some people say that even the alternator is giving a draw. But we're going to test on that, get that trailblazer being reliable so it actually starts up and then figure out if we're going to sell it. <laughs> Sell it, keep it, turbo it, supercharge it. What are we gonna do with it? Pull the motor out of it, put it in the new red truck, who knows? <laughs> All kinds of things. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, first let's get over there, talk to the merchandise guy, and then we'll probably do a 3BB video today. I have the fuel of, uh, ventilation canister I'm gonna replace on that tra trailblazer, so I'll put that up in the air. Kind of look at the exhaust a little bit from the underside, see what I gotta do. I know I have to cut it at the white pipe to get it out. I've watched a couple videos on that too. And, but be very careful getting those bolts out of the manifolds if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about and you're uh, new to the channel I'm a, I'm a car guy I like messing with stuff hot rodding it kind of making it louder making it faster making it more fun and we have a Corvette motor SUV at home called a Trailblazer SS they call it a TVSS in the truck world pretty cool truck that is a Corvette motor there weren't very many of them made but uh, we have one so we're going to try and make it reliable and run we've done a couple things to it and if you want to see that kind of stuff 3BB is the channel, um, three brother builds. I'm trying to build that for my sons. And we're also back on the hunt for some land. There's some great land right at the exit that I take for my truck, for this truck. But uh, it's $600,000. It is six acres right there off 385, but uh, I feel like maybe 300,000, 400,000 would be okay. So maybe we'll make an offer. I contacted the agent, see if we can get that going. But uh, it's zone C2, so it's commercial put a nice building on it but that would be just getting the land first would be kind of the first step and then maybe down the road 3bb will work out of there and we'll have another youtube kind of playing with cars like we like to do It'd be a good thing to do watch these kids grow up and have a little extra uh, fun on the side after school if they're not playing sports who knows right now we have 25 miles till we exit get home and see our merchandise guy Home sweet home. She's locked up. Thank you for getting us home, K Dub. Let's go get into this little girl over here. And we might also go take a trip down and order a motor for this thing. I don't know. We'll see how we're feeling after the merchandise guy. Well, I just talked to the engine guys and they got something to do. But they have I can go see him about two o'clock. I said, okay. I'll come on down about two. And uh this thing starts up good, but just doesn't really sound right. I'm gonna get something a little more uh, raspy in there. Cool Hurst Drifter on there. But uh, this also, we'll do a video about this on my son's channel, 3BB. I can't believe how cheap these things are nowadays, how inexpensive they are. <laughs> but we'll get this thing fired up. Let's go over to the uh, merchandise guy and just the way this interface is. I thought something was wrong with this system, but if you go on radio, it actually sounds pretty good. If you Bluetooth to your phone, not so good. <laughs> so we'll get something there. And let's go order, a, we're going to get a 5.3, I think, but we're going to talk to Don and Mark out here at a local company in uh, Easley, South Carolina. Okay, well, here we are at good old Cheeky Tees. See what they're about. I should have parked over there, but had a spot right there. That was actually pretty awesome talking with her. Uh, Patrick's actually out of town for break. Well, not out of town, but in town, so hanging out with Dad. I got a catalog, and we're going to probably do some business with them. But right now, let's get home and then see which one of the kids wants to come with me to talk about a motor with this one. Probably going to be the middle one. All right. We have our bag. Let's see what these kids are doing. I feel good about that merchandise guy. Just doing small runs, beanies, zip-up hoodies, t-shirts. Hey, boots. And I think this right here that just showed up in the mailbox, I got an alert for... Uh, it being delivered, and I'm glad I did because T Dub's at an appointment, so I can hide it from her. So it was what I thought it was, but I can't show you guys because T Dub's might watch the channel. And I'm dilemming, I'm on a dilemma 
for walking in here because if I do, all three of them are gonna wanna go with me to go get this engine. So I might just go grab some food and come back later and let Boots out because he's uh, wanting to get outside. But yeah, we'll drop the bag off. I think I'm just gonna go with the truck and go buy the engine, then come back because otherwise it's gonna be a, I wanna go with you, Dada. I don't wanna have to choose one. Hey, off the Cobra. Okay, we got the Bojangles chicken. How you doing, man? Let's get over and uh, order this engine now. Excited about this. They advertise on uh, Facebook Marketplace and it looks like it's pretty cool. That truck looks so cool just sitting there at the QT. Walked over because I was hungry, but we got to get going about 15 minutes. Uh, if we leave in 15 minutes, we will be there right at two o'clock, which he has an appointment, so let's go. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is actually the road that we gave to go to take to go to Lake Kiwi with the boat right there. We stopped at the QT back there just to get fuel. Goes up to Lake Kiwi. Exit 40 off 85, but if we go this way, uh, 0.2 miles on Three Bridges Road, we have an engine shop. So let's check this out. And if you want to see the whole ordeal, then uh, check out 3BB, the number three and two Bs behind it. That is uh, where I'll post this whole video of the engine we're looking to get and placing an order on it because they, they build them to suit, suit to build. So they'll grab me a 5.3 and do all that. So check that channel out and I'm going to get back home after I have this appointment. Well then, maybe not today. Um, waited here about an hour and called him and he's got an appointment with his daughter. I guess he's helping her with her car and they said it's something else is wrong with it so they can't get back here. So T's and P's for him, hoping to get it figured out. But I guess behind those walls might be some cool 5.3s and some cool 6.0s, maybe a couple 6.2s, but not today. So we're going to have to head out of here. We're a busy guy. And maybe we'll get a video of it uh, some other time, but not today. But we are looking for... I think I'm just going to go 5.3. These guys were cool. They caught my eye because they were going to be um, boring it up to a 5.7, like an old LS1, but a stronger block. Um, have all the power and punch from that. So that's what I was going for. But we'll see. Maybe net, maybe uh, we can meet him up again, but he, he can't get here today. So just a little bit of wasted time, but hey, it's a beautiful day. Can't complain. Let's get back home to these kids and T-dubs. Well, guys, no 3BB video today. Might do one on the Trailblazer later, but I use that extra time to meet with this one. I like your eyelashes. Thank you. You look gorgeous. Well, meet you at home, and uh, we'll close this video out with these babies. Quaker State, guys. Good place in Greenville. Good food. And we're still on the search for a motor. Okay, then. I think we might go to a thing called Holly Wild out here. It is a uh, like a Christmas lights display thing. But first of all, I think T-Dubs... How you doing? Left, uh, left my tires out front. <laughs> She's left these out for a whole day. Come on, T-Dubs. So we got some new rubbers for the back of that good old uh, Cobra. So the new um, owner gets some nice ZR18s. Ah, so she's got brand new rubber. Go find these babies before we put these up. But God bless you guys. We're gonna um, hopefully find a motor, guys. There's another one I just found, an LM7 ah, for that red truck. Always got something going on, you know? I just want it to sound nice and cool like the old one did. And that's my new toy since the old toy is going away. Hi, See? baby. What do you have? The Wii in your hand? Be careful with that. It's expensive. Oh, yeah. I'm hold you. Switch, oh, oh, yeah. Switch. Sorry. Thanks for leaving my tires out here, Dubs. Oh, well, you lay off. Uh huh. Whatever. Your eyelashes look good. Oh, you're just saying that. Thank what was in that one package you saved for me? You didn't. I, you still have to open Oh, yeah. It was. Sorry. You. It was tape. I bought some extra masking tape for you for Christmas, for, for Christmas yeah. Did you really? Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up, dudes? Uh, you can not have a milky. I've been gone two days, two whole days. Two whole days. Do you guys want to go see big animals and feed them carrots? Yeah. All right, let's go. God bless you guys. Uh, we will do a 3BB video probably tomorrow. It's super cold outside. <laughs> So, um, I'll probably do the trailblazer tomorrow. Maybe go back to that engine place. What are they? Core Christmas cards? No, they're titles. Cars. Oh, cars? titles. My bad. Oh, the truck title? Yeah. Oh, all right. What, baby? But yeah, we're out of here. 
and we will see him next one. And T-Dubs has some kind of picture okay. she wants me to put into today's so, video. Lucy was outside and bored. So. And uh, yeah, poor we dog will, and a bed, not a good combo. We will add that here. God bless you. And we'll hope you have a great Merry Christmas. There probably won't be many, uh, any more videos from Just Trucking until after Christmas. So have a great one. We might have a Christmas Day one though. Um, but there will be some 3BB and Just Trucking Wife will probably have one tonight. God bless you and see you soon. Merry Christmas. I did it. You did it. Yay. Yeah, I did it. Yay. Push the button. Okay. Push the button. On this one. Or not. <laughs>